friends and family coming to pay their last respects. Pius Ngonzo Langa was the second of seven children. I remember him as a very giving person, as somebody that was generous to a fault, that was always looking out to supporting uh, his siblings and uh, his children. For me and for my siblings, it's a very personal loss. Um, although we had to share him with the rest of the country while he was alive, um, he was a father to us. Although he was a promising student, he had to leave school at the premature age of 14 to go and seek work so he could help his father, Simon, take care of the growing household. But he eventually went back to school and in 1960 matriculated through private study. Thereafter, working as an interpreter and a messenger, his focus and steely determination saw him obtaining B Juris and LLB degrees through distance learning. I was the first African advocate. He wanted to be pupil by me. Langa worked his way up, serving as a prosecutor and a magistrate before being admitted as an advocate of the Supreme Court, where political trials dominated his work. When Mrs. Winnie Mandela was charged in relation to the Stompy issue, we were personally asked by Ntate Mandela, he wasn't president then, to defend Mrs. Mandela. And who did he ask? George Bezos, Pius Langa, and me. And the three of us were the team that looked after Mrs. Mandela's case from beginning to end. The lines between lawyer and activist were blurred as the apartheid government sought to strengthen its hold on the country's black majority. The roles prepared him well for such positions as the founder member of the Release Mandela Committee and president of the National Association of Democratic Lawyers. When the Constitutional Court was established in 1994, Langa was among the first judges to be appointed to our nation's top court charged with setting checks and balances on our democracy, as well as the transformation of the judiciary. Together with President Becky and him, we had, we had very good debates from time to time about issues of, of justice, of where the jurisprudence of the Constitutional Court was going, because President Becky would ask him to say, where do these debates take place? Judge Langer performed so well he made every South African proud. Throughout his term of office, Justice Langa has ensured that the independence of the judiciary is not compromised. Quiet, unassuming, and always focused, he was never shy to talk about the ideals closest to him. As long as poverty, homelessness, disease and illiteracy ravage our people and are still a feature of the lives of many, existing side by side with those who are privileged and who have everything before them. Our job, yours and mine, will not have been accomplished. Vuyom Voko, SABC News.